Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing yet another movie review, so I hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a drama slash thriller from the United States, English language, released in the year 2016, directed by Sean Brosnan, and this film is called My Father Die. So My Father Die is set in the deep south of the USA. You've got a rural poor community that have two brothers in it. Now the two brothers are very close to each other. The older brother is giving the younger brother life lessons about girls and other things that the younger boy is curious about, and they seem to get a lot of happiness from each other. They go out and they do alligator hunting together and everything that this young boy looks up to is in the form of this older brother but one day that relationship is going to be torn apart viciously when the drunk father beats the older brother to death in front of the younger brother. So the younger brother gets hit over the head as well. That causes him to go permanently deaf. So many years have passed since this tragedy, and as a result of this, uh, we learn that the father has been in prison for life. And so now this young boy has become a young man. He's looking after his mother. And then one day they get the devastating news that due to overpopulation and good behavior, the father has been released. So this is a grave injustice, and this causes the young man to go on a journey of obsession in getting uh, revenge for his brother death and in order to do that he has to track down the father and kill him but he's going to find out that it's going to be a lot more complicated than he first thought and whether or not he can achieve his goal is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on My Father Die. Coming into this film, I was thinking that this is going to be a movie based on therapeutic violence. Now what I mean by that, therapeutic violence is violence that makes you feel better about the situation. In that case in point, I Spoon Your Grave. I Spoon Your Grave is about a young woman who gets brutally raped, and when she gets her revenge on these horrible people, you get a strong sense of satisfaction. So that's the therapeutic violence that I'm talking about, and I think the therapeutic violence in films actually helps us desensitize ourselves to horrors. And so in today's society as well, we feel that if someone does us wrong, if we get violent and we hit someone, that's going to make us feel better. But that's not the true nature of violence. Violence is very destructive. Violence is very evil. And it can have devastating consequences. But I think a lot of other films out there in the revenge sort of subgenre, don't really do a good job at showing you the, the destruction of violence. So coming into My Father Die, I was expecting the same sort of uh, experience that this was going to be very therapeutic, that this is going to have you know violence thrust upon people who deserve it. But after seeing the film, I will say that this movie surprised me quite considerably. This is a movie that does uh, you know it steers clear of therapeutic violence. It shows you violence for what it is, and basically violence in this film is the destructive nature, and it's the nature that is destroying. The the beauty that this family had you know you've got this the two brothers and the the violence that has been thrust upon the older brother has destroyed the relationship and so everything in the film it feels like a domino effect of the destructive nature of violence in that you've got this young man who is going to set out to brutally kill his father to make himself feel better but then in the meantime these innocent people are becoming involved in the situation and the violence has been thrust upon them so it shows you how uncontrolled you know, violence can be and how this situation has gone from bad to worse very quickly for this main character and that although the the main character is deemed as the good guy you never feel like he's doing the right things you feel like the the bad things that he is doing is corroding the person that he is and so he has been exposed to violence at a very early age and he's a product of his environment and so you've got the relationship between father and son that i thought was very fascinating they're out trying to kill each other but you still feel the bond between father and son and so once again it's the violence that's really the destructive nature of this film it's the violence that is the true villain of the movie is because it's dictating how everyone's life is turning out. And so My Father Die does a fantastic job at creating something very entertaining that you can actually follow, but at the same time giving you that underlying sense of beauty, the underlying sense of character studies of family love, but at the same time, as I said, the destructive nature of violence and how violence can have a devastating effect on that family love. So on the visuals, you've got a very ugly film. It's set in a very remote area. You've got a very dirty people, dirty hair, dirty faces, rotten teeth. So everything about the film isn't very good to look at as far as actually making you feel feel good about yourself but underneath it's got a very warm heart it's got a heart that feels very poetic it's got a heart that feels very genuine and it's giving you an insight into people and the devastating consequences of revenge and that revenge isn't so easy revenge isn't turning into rambo or the the terminator and inflicting pain upon others to make yourself feel good this is a movie that pain has been inflicted upon others but you feel as though it's very destructive you feel as though this main character it's very sad is because this main character didn't really have a chance in life and although he feels like he's doing the right thing it's making him feel worse and so I thought that was very very fascinating you got the 
yeah, as I said, that, that bond between father and son. So although the son, he promises that he's going to kill the father, you feel as though, okay, if the father is going to die, it's not going to be very therapeutic for me is because the whole sense of tragedy is ever present in this film. And I think the best way to sum up My Father Die is to say that this is a Shakespearean sense of tragedy in that uh, nothing is going to turn out well. So I thought the cinematography was absolutely fantastic. As I said, it's a very ugly film on the outside. You know, ugly people, ugly situations, extreme violence, some sex sexual violence that was very hard to look at and there was some uh, a scene of sexual gratification that I thought was extremely disturbing so you've got ugliness in the film but underneath as I said you've got a strong sense of bonding to, um, with each other you've got the sense of this younger brother who's remembering his older brother and the love that his older brother had for him and all the advice he'd learnt from his older brother has been replayed throughout the film so you feel as though the goodness uh, that the relationship had with the brother is slowly corroding is because this main character is becoming the person that his father is the, the the person that this main character despises he's starting to turn into himself and it does show you that if you kill your father will you replace your father because you are the product of the upbringing and so I thought that was absolutely fascinating I thought the movie was complemented by an absolutely fascinating soundtrack I thought the soundtrack created so much emotion it was one of the most memorable soundtracks I've ever actually heard I know that's a big thing to say but it, it, it actually felt like a character of its own it felt like it was dictating how you were actually feeling and I, I know that's a bad thing sometimes that directors actually have to dictate how you feel but this movie the the power in the soundtrack i thought was uh, a, a contributing factor in how memorable this film was i just thought it was beautiful and it was absolutely fantastic so Yep, you've got a fantastic ending. I thought the last shot of this film really summed up, once again, what violence is. And so I thought the film was very responsible in showing you the violence, but at the same time, having that sense of action, having that sense of revenge. The movie never gets bogged down in trying to be too thought-provoking. It's not bogged down in trying to be too... Uh, you know, trying to dictate how you should feel about violence. The movie does have fun aspects of violence, but at the same time, as I said, showing violence for how destructive it can be. And so it feels like it has so much more heart than a lot of other films films out there that are just showing you therapeutic violence so overall this is a fascinating film it's so much better than I thought it would be the script is very good it was very artistic in places a lot of people say that this is a very pretentious film but I thought it was actually very well done it creates something a little bit different and in films you want something a little bit different and I think that My Father Die definitely delivers that difference within the revenge subgenre so if this is your kind of thing I would highly recommend you go out there and check this one out and overall I'm going to give My Father Die four stars Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.